Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, I don't know if you know, but today is the third Thursday of the month. So let's get cracking on Christmas. This is an initiative by Jen Cherkis, uh, where every third Thursday of the month we are creating a Christmas card. And we are already, well, almost halfway this year. And for some people, it might be really, really early to start on Christmas cards. But I always like Christmas cards. So when Jen asked me whether I wanted to join her to inspire on every third Thursday of the month, um, there was no doubt in my mind to try to, to share inspiration as much as possible throughout this sort of event that she organizes. Now, aside from me, of course, there is so much inspiration out there definitely check out Jen's her blog post as she is linking towards several card makers that are joining her to inspire um, also Instagram uh, Facebook if you create a Christmas card definitely add the hashtag get cracking on Christmas so that we can see your inspiration as well and then we can all just search for get cracking on Christmas on Instagram for example and see all of the Christmas inspiration out there. Now for today's video I actually have two cards as you might saw in the beginning. Now I recently bought these two stamp sets from Colorado Craft Company. One is called Hiding Presents, that one you can see here, and the other one is Getting Ready. These adorable images they are completely different but at the same time it's the same hair that is featured um, there is a tree, there is a gift, um, it's a lot of fun. And I thought since these images are quite big, just to save myself some money, I only bought the stamp set. Now there are matching dies and you know me, I love matching dies. But budget wise, it is no, not always handy to always get those matching dies as well. Uh, so in this case, when I have a really, really big image, I sometimes try to go without. Um, and since it is covering a complete panel, I don't really need matching dies. One day I will get them, I'm sure of it, because I just love having them as well and have all of the options open. But if you're like me and sometimes need to search where you can just save a bit of money, for me this definitely is a way of saving. If I have a big image, it can fit a complete card and this way I don't need necessarily the matching dies. Now. Different from otherwise, I am going to color these two cards simultaneously. Why? Because I wanted to show you how similar these stems were, although they are different. And um, that's why I just decided to stamp it out on some water art watercolor paper. Really simple. And start coloring with my distress inks. It's something that I really love doing and I don't know why. But these images illustrated by Anita Jerm uh, really lend towards watercoloring. And I'm not an expert, I'm just, I'm just doing what feels good for me. Uh, I'm, I'm picking up those colors, I am using a damp paintbrush to, to, to divide and uh, conquer all of the images here. Um, and that's just how I roll. Now, if you need inspiration on how to color these images, the lovely thing about the packaging from Colorado Craft Company is that most often, I don't know always because I don't have everything, uh, but in this case for these images by Anita Durham, there is often one of them already colored in on the back of um, the stamp set. It's one of the only packaging that I keep and I actually use the packaging to store <laughs> these stamps. Um, nothing fancy because I don't have storage space anymore here. I'm really looking forward to move. Um, <laughs> but I'm just working my way here through everything. Um, I didn't realize that there was snow on top of um, the tree already. But I just painted it softly with that same brown, really softly. Uh, I also will add a bit of grounding and although this is a snowy kind of image I decided to go with really soft green uh, just adding a bit later on on the bottom of both cards and then I will splatter some white quash to really help that snowy feel without leaving everything white. So this tree, a really big image, I used quite a lot of my distressings here 
but I work my way through it. Uh, I just keep going back and forth. Um, keep adding layers until I like the depth or the shadows that I added. Um, just keep going. Just keep going. And once this tree is finished, I am switching towards the other panel, doing the tree over there. Just to show you how similar these images are. And this can also be a really quick way to buy some stuff, uh, mesh them together, or if you have several stamp sets that are quite similar um, when it comes to the coloring, it can be really handy to actually stamp everything out at once or create your panel or um, just stamp your images already that you want to use on several cards and start coloring them all at once. Uh, this way you don't need to take those markers out again or that watercolor out again. Uh, you don't need to think about color combinations that go well because you know it goes well, you already used it. Um, so it's a really, really handy way if you want to create multiple cards. Now here of course the tree is way smaller, so it took me less time of course to get all of the color on top of there. The popping colors today are red, um, you can definitely do red, green, any color you desire. There are many ways to color these images in. I just went for the really traditional Christmas kind of colors, reds. Um, I didn't match or go crazy with the amount of colors, just to keep it simple as well. Um, to keep it a bit authentic, I don't know what you think. Uh, but I find that that really works for um, these kind of images. Just going back and forth, I also I have a bit of water on the side and I have my paper towel to create a damp paintbrush that I need. And if you need more color, you just smush that distress ink on top of an acrylic block or anything you have um, that will keep that ink wet for you and where you can just take it off that surface. Now something that I do realize every time that I'm doing some watercoloring with these dressings is that I have some ink pads that really need some refills. Um, and it's always when I smoosh them that I can see some ink pads are really moist and others barely have anything in them. Um, really funny, also a bit sad, but well, we will get through that. For the white parts of my images, I decided to just go with a really soft brown color um, to help me just give it a bit of depth, uh, but not, not too much. And definitely keep going back and forth. Something that I would really recommend is to let, every time uh, you have added a layer, let it dry before adding a second layer. And it will really help with that depth. Um, it will not fade out immediately. Uh, it's something that I find really useful. So as I said, get working on Christmas. I have realized that although I am participating on this and I am trying to inspire every th Thursday of the month, um, I must still make quite a lot more Christmas cards than I currently have. Um, yeah, it's just, um, you know, life, huh? Um, I already explained there is a lot going on, all positive things, of course, here. Uh, so I cannot complain, but sometimes, well, you just you just don't get to creating what you decided on creating or giving um, some heads up to Christmas cards, for example. So here, as I said in the beginning, I'm just adding a soft layer of green, not too much. It is still sort of winter, but not everyone has a snowy carpet outside when it's winter. Uh, it depends a bit on where you live. Um, for example, last year I think we didn't have any snow in Belgium during winter. I might be wrong, maybe once, twice, I have no clue um, anymore. But then in April we all of a sudden had snow here, which is, well, spring. So the logic was a bit lost. Uh, but it happens and okay. I must admit I don't like snow, I prefer not um, having the challenge of staying well off my, on my feet. <laughs> I am terrified going outside when there is snow. I also need to go to work with first my bike 
towards the station and then they're taking the train. Whenever there is snow, the train isn't, well, riding as it should. And whenever there is snow, there is a chance that I will fall from my bike. Um, and I don't like that idea. <laughs> so I am terrified and I just prefer not having snow. Um, but I know that a lot of people love snow and are looking forward to those white carpets outside and I love seeing it when I know that I don't need to leave my house. Um, so let's just keep it to that. Now as I said, although um, I might not keep everything white for the snow on the bottom of this card, I did want to splatter a bit of white gouache. Or I didn't want to cover my sentiments. So I just teared a piece of paper for each of the sentiments to keep it a bit organic. You never know where the splatters will go, but in this case it will not go on top of my sentiments. And it's also not just a rectangle or a square that will not have any splatters. It's a bit more organic, maybe. But it's really subtle, I didn't add too much either, just a few white splatters here and there uh, on top of both cards. I think it's really subtle, but it works with the amount of inks that I used for the coloring of these images, I think. So that's what I did. Just as I said from the beginning, I'm making these cards side by side just to show you again. This is similar. This is a way that if you love a combination and you have similar things, just create next to each other and... Um, this was really really a lot of fun to do. Now the only thing left to do is to adhere both panels on top of some card bases and then I have two Christmas cards ready to go using some stems from Colorado Craft Company illustrated by Anita Jerem which I truly adore. It's childhood memories and it's so so much fun to color these for Christmas. The nostalgia is all over these cards for me. So these two cards were my inspiration for today. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video, that I could show you how easy it might be to just create two cards at once. Um, yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I truly appreciate you all being here. I want to thank you and I wish you an incredible day and I'll be back soon. Bye!